Another day, another challenge. Hi, I'm Allison Henderson with Moving Image Consulting, and we are cruising through the teens of our body language challenge. And today, we are going to take a little break from our authenticity, personal baseline uh, talk because that's tough stuff. And so today I want it to be a little bit more lighthearted. We're going to do another experiment, which is really fun. Today, you're going to be using silence. What do I mean by that? This means that you are going to let the silence do the heavy lifting for you. That was a phrase that I heard over the weekend at an event, and I thought it was fantastic. Uh, Mickey is the speaker's name, and I'm forgetting her last name right off the top of my head. Silence is a very powerful force in our communication. And this means that when you state a problem, an issue, a solution, your price, if you're a small business owner and you're in the middle of a negotiation, be quiet after that, both verbally and non-verbally. You can silence your body by resting and you can also silence your mouth even if it's over the phone and somebody uh, asks you what your price is and you say well the particular package that we have been discussing is ten thousand dollars quiet don't start coming in with, oh, well, that price is negotiable and I can throw in this and that and the other. <sighs> we need to all get better, me included, at using the power of silence because in that silence, you are proving your ability to stick to your price and that you are letting it lay there. And it is forcing the other person to make the first move back or the first part of the negotiation. So use silence to your advantage. You can use silence to your advantage with your children. This is what we're having for dinner. Don't give them three, four, six options when this is what you've prepared. This is it. Practice the power of silence. It can do so much for you if we would just embrace it. And I know it's really difficult, particularly on the phone or in Skype and Zoom calls and things because it feels like it lasts forever. But remember, most silences don't last that long. They just feel long. So even if you're thinking in your head, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, nobody's saying anything, five, one thousand, it's still only been, what, five seconds that there hasn't been communication. So let silence lay there and see what happens and let me know how it works for you. See about the power of silence for stating your case, sticking to your guns and getting what you want. Go team. We'll see you tomorrow on the Body Language Challenge. I'm Allison Henderson. Have a great day.